I am Erin Evans with Park City Television, and we are here at the red carpet for The Happy Prince, which is written, directed by, and starring Rupert Everett. Let's go see what they have to say about the film. My film is a film about uh, the, the Irish writer Oscar Wilde and his last three years in exile after he'd been to prison. And it's, um, it's, a, it's a tragedy, but at the same time it's uh, got its funny parts too. I play Lord Alfred Douglas, um, who was Oscar Wilde's lover, and um, he's he's a bit of an explosive kind of destructive character in in a, in a lot of ways. I play Robbie Ross, who's a um, who's a loyal friend, lover, and colleague of Oscar Oscar Wilde, who sticks by him through thick and thin. Sometimes you gotta gotta remind yourself that as fun as it is, this was their reality. This was who they were, and a lot a lot of the humour actually comes out of the tragedy of it. That it was such a tragic. Um, relationship between Bose and, and Oscar. And he in many ways was like a, 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 Christ, a Christ figure really for many people, uh, for many gay people. He was a precursor to the gay movement. He, um, not many people know about his story and I hope in, I hope in this film that the last three years of his life we, 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 we see what he did and, and how he suffered actually. Gay marriage would be a, be a thing that I think uh, he'd be thrilled by. I mean marriage in those days was a much more important thing in a way than it is today because it wasn't a thing you just gave up on I mean divorce was social ruin uh, in his day so so gay marriage to him would have meant really would have meant a, a thing that you uh, committed to forever and uh, and I think he did he was a great romantic so I, I, I think he would have uh, loved it the Happy Prince sounds like an amazing film. I'm definitely going to check it out, and you should too. And make sure and stay tuned to Park City Television for more coverage of the 2018 Sundance Film Festival.